Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Kevin from Personal Tutor. Definitely going ahead today and bringing you the chapter Ranga's Marriage by Masti Venkatesh Ayangar. Mr. Ayangar was a well known writer in Kannada. He wrote on the social reforms prevailing in the pre independence era and India. He actually goes ahead and works up on a certain aspects prevailing in the country while the British came in. This chapter actually gives us a brief about the status mentioned by the people on the basis of language. He clearly goes ahead and expects people to understand that the language English isn't a status symbol it's just a language so knowing English or not knowing English doesn't make a matter at all that actually today is considered to be a status symbol by people around Mr. Iyengar actually mentioned a long time back about the story of a person from a village who's actually said to the city for education. Now, the story is about Rangappa, the main character, who actually goes to Bangalore for his studies and learn English as well. People during the old times in the village actually had a notion of a person returning from the city knowing English to be a learned fellow. Rangappa or Ranga to be short actually goes ahead and learns yes the language as well yet he did not go ahead and forget his traditions and that was clearly depicted once he came back to the village and touch the feet of the elders. It's about him going ahead and in spite of having a mature mind makeup in the city of not marrying at all, giving up the life for the nation, for the self, ends up getting married to 11 year old Ratna during a very comical and satiristical approach actually made by the village Pandit and the middleman who really wanted him to get married to Ratna. The story revolves around the effort of the village elder who actually goes ahead and is known as Sham to coax Ranga to marry this 11 year old girl Ratna who had lost her parents and was living with her uncle. He found Ranga to be a suitable groom for the girl since she was quite a sweet person, traditional and Rangappa too matched her. The Shastriji here plays an important role on depicting the ill health in connection with the marriage to a girl's name starting with R. <laughs> Shama actually goes ahead and in order to check Ranga's mind and create a curiosity for Ratna exclaims quite a number of traits such as Ratna being married <laughs> not able to get in contact and saying such things. Ranga, my friends here, feels really bad and sorry at the thought of not getting to marry the girl whom he actually fell in love. Later on, the story ends in a traditional way of the both couple having two kids 
and Ratna expecting the third one yet Ranga trying to name the one Shama and Sham denying it Shama actually went ahead and commented that it is the culture in English people usually go ahead and name the kid on the name of the so-called grandpa grandfather or the godfather who actually has got importance in the marriage of the parents Shyama actually comments on this very Kechar of the as well he goes ahead and stops them by naming the child Shama because it means Lord Krishna whereas the child was quite fair and bright it gives a clear picture of the traditionalism involved in the village elders who actually co-join and entwain lives every moment with certain traditional values and the societal laws that are mentioned or given in by the caricatures, the literature provided to us. The story actually depicts that in spite of the British Raj coming to India, the language English took its place in the society as a prude one. Knowing the language made a person noble, kinsman, kind, humble, yet the author clearly depicts that the English language just goes ahead and plays a role as a language and not as a status. The village people actually were quite happy to know about somebody coming back full of valor, full of wisdom just because he knew English. It depicts the traits in relation to the language. We can see now a few question and answers related to this chapter. Question number one is comment on the influence of English, the language and the way of life on Indian life as reflected in the story. What is the narrator's attitude towards English? Well, when the Britishers came to our land, they did not bring in the industrialization, they also brought in their culture, their language, their ethos and their style of the way of living. We as Indians almost forgot the traditional value of our own and were overwhelmed by the values of the English that they embalmed upon us. I use the word embalmed because it is something that is applied to people who have lost their own personal kind. We were much more fascinated by the language and the status that we forgot the basics, the ethos and the traditional values of our ancient age-old Indian culture, went ahead and took them into their vanity, their pomp and show and we incarcated ourselves into the way they lived thus losing the personal identity that once we as Indians had. The author's narrative towards English is not as a status, not as something that only wise can possess, but rather just a language. So that's what the author comments in this story. Astrologers' perceptions are based more on hearsay and conjuncture than what they learn from the study of the stars. Although there are few astrologers who actually are really good at their job, there are many who go ahead and claim to be one yet underlying the values and ethics involved. In relation to the story, we can connect the forgotten ethos by seeing 
the panditji involved with shyama and coax sing ranga about getting married to a girl whose name starts with the same letter r immediately the boy strikes ratna the pandit also goes ahead and emphasizes that the name should actually be related to a jewel or a precious stone thus emancipating ranga's anticipation for ratna ratna being a precious stone itself the story correlates the notion of the astrologers as well as hearsay yet the pandit ji defies himself his act and in respect to the decision gives a statement at the end stating that it was all based on the study of the stars indian society has moved a long way from the way the marriage is arranged in the story since the advent of english culture here in india we have seen a change in the scenario of marriages nowadays we have seen boys and girls choosing their own partners marrying by their own wish not going through the wish of the parents even a few parents have actually mentioned the same thing although it cannot be taken as good or bad or a change in the society which has been brought in by the english because lest we forget even the gandharva vivaha was done by menaka even the princes in the old ages used to choose their own husbands in a culture called swayamvaras yet the change scenario that we can see over here is all about the difference between arranged marriages and love marriages we cannot specially comment on the british only being involved in getting us this culture it is actually the changing mindset of the youth and the society as well what kind of a person do you think the narrator is shama as i said shama is an is a village elder man who actually is a traditional person very much cringed to the roots of the culture co-joined with the effort that a person goes ahead and puts in conserving the culture the society the tradition the moral values of the surrounding shama actually depicts and praises the ancient old culture of the mainland india he is much more fascinated by the emancipated beauty of our country he dislikes and often gets disheartened by the fact that he sees among the youngsters of running around the western world and forgetting their own basics and ethos he sees them toiling hard working hard for the the modern culture or the westernization rather than conserving our old tradition the morale and the values this was a story written by masti venkatesh ayangar a kannada writer who basically gave up his auxiliary services to become a writer has achieved quite a number of awards one being gyan peet as well commenting upon the advent of the british raj and society being divided by a barrier of language 
do go ahead and read the story once again my friends if you have got some questions you can definitely comment in the comment section want to know something about personal tutors just click the button about us if you want to have some more information online you can definitely contact us or you can get the data in pen drives as well thank you very much kevin lopez